Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rosette with BuildBox. I'm really excited to do this video tutorial for you today. In this video, it's all about Android Studio and HazeApp Mediation. Now, I did another video tutorial on using Eclipse in HazeApp Mediation, but Google no longer supports Eclipse, so now we're switching over to Android Studio. And instead of doing AdMob like I did last time, this time I decided to switch it up and I'm gonna go with App 11. So if you think this video is useful and you wanna see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Like and subscribe. All right, so this is gonna be a real fast and easy tutorial. I'm gonna move through this pretty quickly. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to app11.com. And you're gonna to wanna to have an email address already prepared. And you're gonna to wanna to go up to sign up in the top right corner. Okay, so then I'm gonna just quickly enter in some information. Um, let me go ahead and put my last name too. And I just created a super easy um, email test uh, for this. So I did uh, test one um, at gmail.com. I just made a quick Gmail. And you're going you're gonna to want to put in your information here. And you'll want to put developer and wherever your country you're at, wherever you're living at. <clears throat> and we're going to select Android right now for our platform and I might enter in build box website just for funsies and then I'll create a password that is complicated enough that nobody will guess it but easy enough that I won't forget it and how did I hear about us um, let's see, just say a friend okay cool you want to agree to the terms and services select I'm not a robot the recaptcha and then click sign me up super easy <clears throat> Okay, cool. And then I'm going to uh, skip this part real quick, and um, I'm going to enter in my phone number, and um, I'm going to verify my account. So one second. All right, five nine three one seven five one. Okay. Go ahead and click Remember Me for thirty days, and I'll click Verify. Okay, cool. So the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to click on Android and then hit Hey Zap. And I think at this point we can go ahead and stop. Um, this is just going to take you to the Hayes App Mediation page. And I think we're going to need to come back here to the App Lovin' page for some information later. Okay, so then I'm just going to open up a new tab. And I'm going to go to HayesApp.com. And then I'm going to click Sign Up in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to put in my email address right now. So I'm going to put in HayesApp test one, and I'm going to put in my password here. Oops, I forgot to put the at gmail.com, and then I'll put in a username of HayesApp test one. Okay, great. And then I'm going to click sign up. Super easy. Okay, so the next part is we're going to want to um, monetize apps and then click continue and then select I agree and then I'm going to go ahead and just select app 11 for the ad network that I want to add and so that one's really great because it's got interstitial reward videos banners it's it's good to go and so I'm going to go ahead and click continue and then now I'm gonna make sure that Android is selected. And then because my game is not in the Play Store yet, you want to just add your app manually by clicking here. So I'm gonna put in Hey Zap Test One. And then I'm also going to put in the bundle identifier here, which is I believe the same thing as the Android package. So it's gonna be com.companyName dot hey zap test one okay cool so I'm gonna just yeah I'm gonna keep the app name hey zap test one and the bundle identifier will say that as well okay cool and then I'll, I'll click add okay perfect now I've got my app name and my app selected here and now I can go ahead and hit continue now this is where it's going to ask for the App 11 SDK key and the report key and it's really easy. It tells you just go to your account page on your App 11 website, on the App 11 website. And so 
I'm just going to go over here to App 11. I'm going to go to my account, and then I'm going to select the. I'm going to go to my keys over here on the uh, upper left hand corner here. I'm going to select keys, and then I'm just going to copy my key and paste it into here, my SDK key, and then I'm going to copy my report key, and I'm going to paste that in in the report key box over here as well. And then the banner refresh uh, interval, I'm going to. I'm just going to go ahead and put um, five here um, because I'm not really sure. I think that is um, every five seconds or so. So maybe I'll go ahead and actually I'll do every ten seconds. I think that's that's a little bit less um, sporadic. So I'll go ahead and click continue now, and then you want to select Android. Okay, perfect. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get off of the beta SDK. Um, you can you can use the beta SDK if you like, but I just prefer to use the non-beta. Uh, that's their last stable um, release. And so, make sure you've got App 11 selected here. It should still be selected, and then you want to download the SDK here. And then the other thing you want to do is you want to download the SDK for App 11. Okay, cool, super easy. Now the next thing we're going to use is this section right here. We're going to make sure that these permissions are in our code so that uh, so that's going to work properly. Now I I will tell you that even though we add these permissions, it has there's something funky that goes on um, with it. It says um, that it's still missing permissions later, but you, you can go ahead and ignore it. It works perfectly anyways and I'll show you that here in a little bit so don't worry about that um, the other thing I want to go ahead and do um, so it, for some reason it says that the app 11 SDK could harm my computer but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it anyways I haven't had any problems with um, it harming my computer before so I don't think it's really a problem I think it's just a security measure um, and then the next thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I have the uh, t the t test activity, the HAZAP mediation test suite is what this is. And this is how you make sure that the App 11 is hooked up. And I showed you that before in another video. Um, so I'm going to scroll up here and check the permissions first. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this, um, this window here. Or actually, I'm going to just move it over here to the right. And then I'm going to open up BuildBox. OK. So I'm going to go ahead and just use an example today for this. So I'm going to select default portrait as my example. And then let's move this over here so you can see it just right. OK, perfect. Now I'm going to go to my mind map. And then I'm going to go over here to my game over UI. And I'm going to change the ad banner to HayZap. I'm going to change the ad interstitial to HayZap. And it decides the frequency right here. And then the next thing I need to do is go up here to the top right corner and select options. And then I want to select the um, Google Play Store instead of the uh, App Store. And then you want to enter in your bundle ID. Now it's important that you get the bundle ID correct because if you don't, then you end up you end up having problems later. So um, you want to. I just put com company name and hey zap test one for this example. And I'm going to leave the name on device um, untitled for now. And I'm going to leave everything else blank as well. But those are things that you're going to want to put when you actually um, do submit your game to the Google Play Store. You'll want to have a share message, a leaderboard ID, license key, all of that jazz. So, uh, But for the HazeApp mediation today, I'm, I'm just going to skip all that stuff. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to advertisements, make sure that I've got the Google Play Store selected here for the application store, and then I'm going to select my HazeApp publisher ID. Now my HazeApp publisher ID is um, right here where you uh, select account. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this, I'm going to duplicate it, and then I'm going so that I, I don't lose this page. I could just go back, but I'm going to, I'm going to create a duplicate here. and then. That will take you. Uh, that'll show you your publisher ID. So I'm going to just copy that publisher ID, and I'm going to move this over again, and I'm going to slap that publisher ID right into that 
box right there. Okay, cool. So now I've got my HeyZap publisher ID for the Google Play Store. I've got my bundle ID, and that's pretty much it. I just, uh, now I've, I've also got the HeyZap uh, set for the Game Over UI. I don't have it for the main menu UI or world UI, so um, just don't worry about that. Um, and then now, I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the upper left-hand corner, go to File, and then Export, and then select Android. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. It gives you a haze app warning. And then now I'm also going to save this to the desktop and I'm just going to do haze app test one as the name of the file. And then now after it saves the project in the BB doc, then it's going to ask me, well, where do you want to put the Android folder that is going to create your um, Gradle build and everything that you need for Android Studio. So I'm going to also name this Haze App Test 1 and I'm going to save it to the desktop so it's real easy for me to just grab it real, quick, real fast. And then now I'm done with BuildBox. I can go ahead and exit BuildBox now. And I just want to show you um, real fast that uh, this is the HeyZap test one folder. It's got the Android uh, folder here. And we've got the build.gradle. Now that's what we're gonna actually select when we open up Android Studio. But while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of this HeyZap SDK. And I'm going to add in the app Lovin SDK as well. Now the truth is, is that you don't need to get rid of this HeyZap SDK. You could just use this one, the default one that we give you, and it will work fine. Um, but I just go ahead and I just I up I do the most recent SDK and that's uh, you know just just making sure. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move my app Lovin SDK right into the libs folder, and then I'm going to grab my SDK here. Um, let's see here, I gotta grab it. There it is, perfect. Grab my SDK. I'll move it into here, and then I'll take this one and I will toss it in the trash. Okay, great. So that's that's done. So now we've got our app love and SDK in there. We've got our Haze app uh, SDK in there. So we're good to go. Okay. Now I'm going to exit out of the Haze app test one. I'm going to move this back over here to the right, and then I'm going to open up Android Studio. And I'm going to go ahead and just select Open Existing Android Studio Project. That's the one that you want to select. Now I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to go to HeyZap Test 1, my HeyZap Test 1 folder. Go to my Android folder and then select the build.gradle and then click Open. That's the one that you want to select. And give it a few minutes and it'll, it'll load up. Okay, great, the Gradle project is finishing up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, exit out of this window and out of the tip out of the day. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to get the test mediation um, set up uh, going. So what you wanna do is you wanna go up here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and recenter this real quick actually. So what you wanna do is you wanna go up here to project instead of Android and then open up Android and then app and then source, main, and then java, com, secret, hq, and um, ads. Okay, great. So that's a little bit complicated, but yeah, app, then source, main, java, com, secret, hq, ads, and then finally, you're at uh, um, the PT ad HeyZap bridge. That's the one that you wanna select right now, and you wanna click on that guy. Okay, cool. So then you wanna go down, scroll down to like line 207, I think is what it is. Um, yeah, right here. You wanna add in the activation key right underneath this so that we can start testing this sucker out. So let's go ahead and do that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and slide this back over here right now, and I'm going to grab that little line of code that I was talking to you about earlier. This is for the mediation test uh, suite thing. Okay, perfect, so this is that line of code that you need. So I'm gonna copy it over, I'm gonna slide this back over here, and then I'm gonna add in that line right underneath it. So I'm gonna just hit enter, add an extra line of code, and then I'm gonna press okay, because it's got some tabs instead of spaces or, or whatever. And then um, next, I'm gonna go over here to my um, Android project right here, or I'm actually just gonna select Android. And then I'm gonna just check the manifest, the Android manifest, and make sure that that's looking good. 
Um, so I told you about those permissions, right? That we wanna make sure that we've got those permissions. So I'm gonna scroll over here and I'm gonna make sure I've got, I need to have access network state, internet and write external storage. And we need to have all these permissions to make sure that it's working. So access network state. So I've got that, access network state. I've got write external storage, perfect. And then I've got the internet one. So we're good to go there. So the next thing that we wanna have is we want to um, get rid of this app Levin SDK, um, the little com the comment out thing, these little hyphens and arrows, so that this becomes active again, and then we're going to put in our app Levin SDK right here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my app Levin SDK again. So it's over here. Got my SDK key. I'm going to copy it over, and then I'm going to paste it in here just like that okay cool alrighty awesome so now let's go ahead and press uh, press play right here and I just need to connect my Android tablet right now because right now it's not connected and if you do not know how to set up the uh, uh, testing for an on an Android device that's totally fine um, it's, uh, I do have another video that you can watch that will show you how to hook up your Android device and test it out. So I'm going to click OK, um, allow for USB debugging. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start recording on the Android tool here so that you can see my, um, my screen. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to record so you can see what I'm doing. And then now I'm going to hit OK right here so now it should start running the um, the game and should start running the app on my Android device so just give that a few seconds okay great so it's looking really good so let's go ahead and select app 11 and it um, everything's working properly it does say that it's missing permissions but the, uh, the truth is is that the permission is actually there so it's fine it should run just fine so I'm gonna go ahead and press show and then it should show an ad and there it is Wow it's got a little mu bit of music okay so I'm gonna let this ad play out and then I'm gonna show you in the actual gameplay that it's working as well so I'm going to exit out of this, and great. So it's also working for Haze app as well. So let's go ahead and press the game uh, start button and test it out and see what happens when we hit the game over UI. Perfect, an advertisement is playing, and you can see that this one is for App 11. So it's, it's working great. This is perfect. This is how you hook up advertisements to your game using Android Studio and Haze App Mediation, and you can hook up other ad networks like App 11 or any of the other ones that Haze App also does mediation with. And so, yeah, you're good to go. And one last thing I wanted to mention before I end this video is to make sure that when you're submitting your game to the Google Play Store to get rid of the activity line, the Haze App Mediation Test Suite line where um, we added it into the PT Ad uh, Haze App Bridge. You want to get rid of that line before um, submitting it to the uh, Google Play Store because you don't want players accessing that every single time. So that's that's just for testing that your ads are working properly. So before you submit it, make sure you get rid of that line. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it was useful. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel.